All right, guys, today I want to talk about the blank page problem in WordPress. So sometimes you set up, this is typically happens with a new WordPress site or maybe after a major update, but you've set up a WordPress site and you go to visit the home page and it is just a blank page. It's, it's not giving you an error code or anything. It's just an absolute blank page. Or you can access the home page, but you can't access any of the internal pages. You click on a link on your site and that internal dead page is dead or it's blank. So this video is going to go over both of those errors for you. And the first one, if you have a blank page on your home page, it's because you have not selected a theme. So you need to get into your site and go to here and select a, a theme. Uh, so it's really hard to set this up to where you don't have a theme uh, selected, but if there's an error and you end up with no theme selected, uh, like for example, I can't really remove this one, I have to activate another one before I remove it. But it is rare, I have seen it where none of these themes are selected back here and then you end up with a blank page because WordPress does not know what to show. So that's the trick there. If you have a blank page on your home page, it's going to be back here in the back end. And then if you're dealing with this problem where you click on a website, and a link on your site, and it's not taking you to a page, it's just every page is not showing up except the home page, only the home page is showing. The fix for that is really simple as well. You come over here to settings and you go to permalinks. And what has happened here is the database has got screwed up on what it wants your, your permalinks to be. And so just come down here and click Save Changes. I mean, you can click over here and click Save Changes and click back. People like to do that because it makes it feel like they're doing something. But really, all you have to do is click Save Changes again. And it'll just reset everything to the database and push that out properly. And one little warning on this, don't be just changing your permalinks because it will screw up how well you rank in Google. Uh, it'll screw up how easy it is for people to access your site and it can break uh, your website. Uh, so don't just be changing them, but if you're seeing here that, hey, I had it set up for post names or I had it set up for archives, etc., uh, you know, you just put it back in that same place where you had it and then click Save Changes. That'll re-push it to the database, fix that problem, and you're the hero of the day. So hopefully this video helps with those two errors and makes your day a lot easier.